Hi everyone, this is Isha from Lahore, Pakistan. I'm a filmmaker, digital content creator. I'm a writer, actor, and sometimes a dancer as well. <laughs> um, when I first put it out there that I wanted to be a filmmaker, my family was kind of confused because nobody in our family ever was into the media or the film industry. Um, but my father was quite supportive. He was into the art. He was into literature actually, and he was happy that one of his children is, uh, you know, going to pursue arts. Uh, but he was unaware of the whole filmmaking process. And so was I. I, I just read about this character in, in a novel who was a director and I really wanted to do that. Uh, I just liked that. And I wanted to explore that. So um, gradually I learned what kind of hard work, blood, sweat and anxiety goes into, you know, um, making a film. and. Uh, I graduated in 2015 and like, you know, we had these parameters of success from society that you graduate, you settle down, get a job and everything. So that's what I did as well. I got a job, but I was not happy with it. So um, I was working as a video editor and I kind of quit it and I said, I, I have huge ambitions and I want to do something else, but it was hard doing freelance work. There was no stability. And so I went back to doing a job. Uh, this time I worked as a script writer for a couple of years, but again, um, there was no creative control. And uh, that's when basically I started my own venture, Last Short, where we make videos, um, films, series that have a strong social impact because that is the reason I first wanted to be in this field because I just felt that uh visual media has a lot of power i mean stories can create a lot of impact rather than just telling an issue uh if we show it through a story it leaves an impact it it creates an effect so that is what i wanted to do in the first place so um obviously running your own company is uh, not a bed of roses uh it was difficult it is still difficult i uh, it's a lot of anxiety as well but um i i am proud of the fact that we did produce a series and a film and you know a lot of videos where it was you know our own ideas another reason i started last short was because i just felt our field was very male dominated even with more and more you know uh, representation of women's issues men were behind the camera and men were showing those so i just felt that it lacked the sensitivity of a female gaze uh you know obviously i just feel that women feel more <laughs> and uh if you feel more obviously you can show um more if we're talking about the visual language or um any other field for that matter so I just felt there was a need for more and more women to come into this field behind the camera. Um, you know, their voice need, uh, needed to be amplified. And uh, I am so happy to see more and more platforms such as this, you know, Gandhara Film Festival, which is amplifying women's voices because, because we, women, I, I feel essentially are restricted in some way or the other. And, uh, there has to be more and more opportunities for them to fight with that restriction, you know. Uh, so, you know, even with my own platform, I try to bring in more and more women behind the camera and, you know, show their perspective. I feel that is very important. And uh, I just, I'm just happy to see these platforms coming about. Another thing that I kind of, um, received a lot as a woman was that women in media are bad women. Um, and I think uh, my short film also in at some level um, explores this theme that what is a good or a bad woman and why these adjectives are associated with this gender in the first place. So um, obviously another thing that our society has, another restriction that women have at least in our society is getting married at the right age and the right time. So uh, I faced that a lot as well, where I was asked to restrict myself in certain ways so that I could settle down and, you know, 
be into good family, get married, settle down, everything. <coughs> but you know, it was very frustrating for me because at one point I I had this company running and I wanted to do these big things and have this huge voice. And on the other end, I used to come home and you know face all of this. So yeah, it's not been an easy journey, uh, but I am happy and proud that. I kept going and I still have to obviously achieve a lot. But I think that the only thing is to keep going, to have hope. You can't lose hope. Uh, and women, I think, generally are more strong. And uh, we just keep going. We might have bad phases and everything, but we get back up and, you know, get back at it again. So I'm happy for that. I am very, very, very excited to be a part of the Gandhara Film Festival and I just hope and wish to see more and more, you know, spaces where women are, are empowered and empowered women are celebrated. Uh, please do watch our short film Explicit and uh, I would love to hear feedback as well. <laughs> Thank you.